Hello Nota, hello everyone, we are group 1 from session 1. Here is our group member, me, Fikri, Ijam, and Shadwan. I am Ong Kai Shen, and one of the two I would like to present about the introduction part. Globally, climate change is affecting every country. The change in rainfall trends are directly related with climatic change. The flood is the most frequent natural disaster that occurs in Malaysia. Trend analysis is verified as a very useful analytical tool for water resources planning and hydrological plan management. Both parametric and non-parametric tests can be used for trend analysis. For instance, the main candle test and sense log method that are more suitable than parametric one to deal with non-normally distributed data in hydrometric Theorology. The main candle test is frequently used by researchers to determine the trend of temperature, evapotranspiration, and rainfall on monthly, seasonally, and annually scale. The aim of this study is to analyze the rainfall trend of the Tomangan area, which is located in Kelantan, by using long time series data and to come up with hydrological pattern. Furthermore, this study is carried out to assess the importance of rainfall trend over chosen study area by using the main candle test and sense log estimator. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fikri bin Muhammad Rizwan. My metric number is AF190068. So I'm going to present about the background study of our report. So this research was conducted as a case study for precipitation, trend analysis of district tamangan rain gauge installed by Mid Malaysia having latitude 5.42 and longitude 102 degree 0 0.9 minute at 33 meter average elevation at Kelantan River. So the total catchment for the Temangan is around 11,900 kilometer cube kilometer square and approximately 2,567 millimeter of rainfall is averaged out across the entire year in the Kelantan catchment region and the lower and the middle reaches of the river are where all or most wastewater discharge occurs. So this is the map of the Temangan uh, that I get from Google Earth. And, and there's one which shows the elevation at the uh, near the Kelantan River. For the meteorology, trend analysis. Statistically, Speaking, a trend is substantial change over time that may uh, be identified by a parametric and non-parametric method. Trend analysis of a time series is comprised of the size and directions of the change over time regarding both the trend itself and the statistical significance of it. In this investigation, the statistical significance of a trend was established using a mechanical test, while the amplitude of the trend was analyzed using non-parametric technique, the estimation technique developed by sense law. For the main cattle, this is a statistical method that is most commonly used to compare the null hypothesis of trend with an alternative hypothesis of the existence of a monotomy increasing or decreasing trend of a hydroclimatic time series data. And for the sense loop, the non parametric estimated approach developed by sense loop was has been used in the process of forecasting the magnitude or true slope of a hydrological and meteorological time series data. Now, I would like to present how to find the missing data. Firstly, we need to insert the data here. Then, we need to create the analyze, missing value and analysis. And click this tree to here. Take the EM and click the EM. We need to save, the comp save a new data set for, for the no missing data. Alright, uh, so now the data analysis already come out, then we, we can export, we can choose to export to what type, what type of file we need, like PDF or document, just click OK. And we can, we can see the no missing data is already come out. Hmm. I think that's all for me. Uh, I would like to pass the presentation to my teammate, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Izzam Yusuf and I will continue with the presentation. After I done with the missing data analysis, 
which is expectation maximization using SPSS. Uh, we can proceed with uh, the trend analysis using main candle and sand slope using XL step. And this is the result of the main candle test and sand slope estimator. So, uh, in the table, uh, we can see clearly that the annual rainfall shows that the average was found to be 2698.57 mm and the maximum and minimum value was 3065.5 and 2409.2 mm and as we can see the table uh, the linear regression results for the amplitude of annual rainfall trends the sands and the Z value of the candle were both negative and determined to be negative 42.25 and negative 0.33 respectively. So it showed a decreasing annual data trend. And as we can see, the, the sand slope and the Z value that were both positive, it will indicate a positive, which is rising trend for the month of March, September, October and November and negative value for other month which is negative trend That's all for me, thank you So for the conclusion of this report In conclusion, sense slope estimator and candles value of Z resulted in the same value which uh, showed that the value are both in negative that resulted the annual data trend to be decreasing although before uh, but both shown that they were supposed to be positive which indicated to be an increasing of monthly trend for March, October, September and November but the other months resulted to be in a negative. For linear regression analysis it illustrates a consistent trend with a decreasing annual rainfall trend discovered by both main candle test and sand slope estimator. This can conclude that main candle test and sand slope estimator can be used to calculate the trend analysis of precipitation as they have almost identical to linear regression trend tests. So that's all from us. Thank you.